Healthy, the doctor said that you were good and healthy and you gained how many pounds again? She's almost 10 pounds now. Oh yeah, she's like a 9.8 or something like that. Something like the that. The doctor is really happy with us. <laughs> she said we're doing a really good job. Yay, baby, she's cold right now because we yeah. have a dresser and right now she's shivering and she has, she's really cold. Huh, baby Sophie? She's okay. cold. Huh? She's cold. She's so pretty. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. So today we just got out of Sophia's one month appointment and it went so good. I'm so happy. Um, her pediatrician said that we're doing an amazing job and that she's, I'm just so happy that she's gaining weight. She's almost 10 pounds, you guys. So she says she's gaining a lot of weight and she just looks really healthy and really good. So we're happy about that. What do you think? Liz was breastfeeding her before she walked in. And she's like, oh, it sounds like she has a good supply. Yeah, because you guys, at first I was a little worried because a lot of these moms, like we're saying, like, um, that that their baby's here for like 45 minutes and stuff or like 30 minutes on each boob. I've never gotten her to do that. But I think I do have a good supply because she literally will chug my breast milk. Like, she'll be on there for only a little bit, but she's just like, the whole time she's like, good, good, good. Like, I have to like pull her away because she'll be choking. Like, if I don't pull her away, you know? Yeah, but last night, honestly, uh, we found out that she sleeps better when she's in the crib. She hates the bassinet. She freaking hates the bassinet. I put it down, and, like, as soon as we put it in the bassinet, like, within, like, like she wakes up immediately as soon as you, like, let her down. Yeah, and she, like, we, we just realized that she just really hates the bassinet. And yesterday when my mom took care of her, she, um, she put the crib in. She made the executive decision of putting the crib in our room. But you know what? It worked out because she likes the crib so much. I don't think she loves it, but she likes it a lot more. Oh, and remember that um her really cute mobile that we bought, the elephant one? We can put it in, in on there for her, and she'll I feel like she'll like that. And she, she's fine realistically also because if she were to need me like to like to feed, like we have to pull over. I can't take her out of the car seat to put her on my boob, you know. Um, also, we were doing some formula, you guys, because after my surgery, I wasn't able to really fully breastfeed her. Um, but we only like last night we did do formula during the night but the baby pediatrician just recommended that we don't like i mean she said we could do whatever we want to our baby but she said that like if i do have the supply to just keep trying to do the breast milk so i am just gonna try to do just breast milk again i'm gonna try to start pumping again like like power pumping like every two Hi, hours Hi. like a daddy with sophia her, she's cold her let's go cold. okay we're gonna get we're gonna get out of here i don't know if we're gonna get breakfast or if we're just gonna go to starbucks we'll see We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we just had breakfast and I got a few packages in the mail. I keep telling Sophia that she cannot be ordering more stuff. Mm. Every day we're getting packages and it's all for her. So we so we did get a few packages in the mail. We're gonna open these up. I swear you guys, it seriously feels like every single day we're getting packages. So um, last night, like I told you guys, um, we tried out um, the crib for the first time and she slept so much better than she, in the bassinet like she absolutely hates the bassinet you guys and it sucks because like first of all like it, it's supposed to vibrate and it never worked um we got her the halo bassinet i there is a few things that i love about this though is i love that one of the walls like comes down so it's super easy to grab her like in the middle of the night when you're super tired the crib's back there and obviously you have to get up and like it's just like you're lazy you know but also it's good to get up because it wakes you up you know obviously you don't want to be too tired where like you're gonna drop your baby and stuff so i'm like in a dilemma right now i don't know if we should go return the bassinet or and just keep the crib because i feel like there's no point in us returning her bassinet and then getting her this and her, and her having this expensive like cute bassinet like nice one um when honestly there was another one i think it's called the um I don't know, it's, I think it's called the... I don't know, there's another bassinet that was also pretty good and it was like half the price of this one. It didn't have all these features that this one has. My friend has it and she really liked it. So I think I might return the bassinet. Um, I don't I don't have the box for it anymore, but Target's really good with the returns and stuff. So I'm still going to be able to... I know I'll still be able to return it. And worst case scenario, I was telling Daniel, like if, if we feel like we need the bassinet still, like we can go and get her another one like later on. But I feel like she's going to outgrow it pretty like soon as well. Um, I need to return it before I can't return it anymore. And I feel like she's really liked her crib a lot better. So there's no point in us really keeping the bassinet. Anyway, so she got a couple new swaddles. Um, these are my favorite swaddles. These, are our, these, these right here are our favorite swaddles. These are from this brand called Love to Dream. 
Um, and I love these because personally, my baby does not like being swaddled with her arms down. A lot of you guys were suggesting that, um, that we put her in a swaddle so she would sleep better. But you guys, she doesn't like it. And I feel like that's why that first week, um, she had flipped over like in her bassinet because she hates her arms being in there. So I feel like she tries to like squirm out of it, you know, and I think that's how she had like flipped that time. So after that, I decided to stop swaddling her with her arms um, in there because she really does not like it. So then I decided to try these out and she loves this one. This one is meant for her to be swaddled with her arms up and it's just safe, you know. So I got her this little pink one. Currently, she just has one. So I know she needed another one because... She, oh, shit. This is kind of big. Yeah, so right now so right now she only has one swaddle. And babies throw up and stuff. And, like, she's peed on it already. And, like, it doesn't give me enough time to go and wash it and dry it for her by the time she goes to sleep. So I need at least two of them. Like, if you're going to get a swaddle for your baby, get at least two of them. Because babies have a lot of, like, little accidents and stuff. So she has this super cute little pink one. I do feel like it's a little bit big, but... It's for eight. So it's for a baby that is eight to thirteen pounds, and she's almost ten pounds. So I feel like this will be perfect, and it's so cute. Look at her new swaddle. It's a pink one. You guys, I'm telling you guys, she sleeps so comfortable in this, and I feel like it makes her sleep longer. And then next up, she got another little sleep sack, and this is a size medium though. So this one she's not going to be using for a little bit. She won't be using this one right away, but I love the color of this. If you know, you know, baby blue is my favorite color ever. But see, obviously, this is a little bit too big for her right now. This is for a baby that is uh, 13 to 19 pounds. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little while until she's using that one. And I feel like she'll get good use out of it because she could use it up until she's 19 pounds. So that is pretty good and then later on like whenever she starts to like actually move around and stuff they have some that like have like zippers on the side that way you can take off the arms and then then and then after that you transition them into like a sleep suit or a sleep bag which she already does have a sleep bag but it's like it's too big for her right now so i haven't put her in that yay i'm so excited so this right here is the lv curve this is a wearable silicone breast pump so i do have the haka so basically the haka i attach it to my other boob whenever i'm feeding her i attach it to the boob that i'm not using and it catches all my letdown but sometimes like that one um it has not spilled on me yet but i've seen a lot of moms say that um they've lost their milk because it'll spill and stuff so i felt like this one was a little more convenient i really want to get the lv pump i'm just not sure it's so freaking expensive it's like five hundred dollars for the pump but i think i'm gonna get it because honestly i am planning to keep breastfeeding her so i feel like in the long term it's gonna pay off Ooh, this is so cool i think you just suction it like that and then you would stick it onto your boob right and then it would catch all the letdown and i feel like this would be pretty cool because then you could just ooh, okay i like this um and i heard pretty good reviews about this one I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys thought the LV, like, like the actual pump was worth it. I heard good and bad, but, I mean, I, like I said, I'm going to keep breastfeeding her, so I feel like in the long run, it'll pay off. And I feel like just as anything that is, like, more convenient, I'm all for, you know? Next up, we got a couple packages from Amazon. So it comes with all of these little numbers, so that way you can do one month, two month, three month. It even has, like, um little words months month yeah it's pretty much everything you need to take all of their little monthly pictures which i'm going to be getting her ready in a little bit to take her monthly photo i think i'm going to take her monthly picture tomorrow because i ordered her um this little like stuffed animal that i want to use for her monthly pictures and it's not going to be here until tomorrow but today is officially sophia's one month she's officially one month old which is so freaking crazy to me I can't believe like literally a month ago a month ago at like four in the morning she was still in my belly like that is insane to me this freaking ear wax removal syringe because that stupid bug that went in my ear so we're going to um try and clean both of our ears out today i'm gonna make daniel go first because i'm kind of scared and daniel just put her down for a little nap we'll see if she stays I have a lot of things to do, so I probably won't. 
You guys see? She really likes the crib. Look how cute her little crib mobile is. We got it um custom made from this girl on Etsy. It's the cutest thing ever. It's crocheted, little elephants, has clouds, and it does play music. You okay, beautiful? Look at how cute my little baby is. I think she's gonna be pooping. She looks like she has her little poop face on, so I think she's gonna poop. Look how perfect her freaking eyebrows are, you guys. Her eyebrows are so perfect. I don't know whose eyebrows she got. They're like literally perfect. The only thing I'm worried about the crib is just like the sides. Whenever she gets older, I feel like I'm scared she's gonna hit herself like on the side. The sides are hard, you know? And I know that you can get like the little bumper things for the sides, but like, aren't those not safe? Like, I just don't know. It's so hard. So I just woke up from a nap and I'm trying to make my Korean corn dogs, but I failed to realize that all the instructions are in Korean. <laughs> So I don't know how to make these. I'm just gonna be putting them in the oven for like 15 minutes. I preheated my oven to 350. So let's go ahead and stick these little bad boys in. And then I have these brown sugar boba bars, which I saw that they were going vi like super viral on TikTok a while ago. I think I had boba once and I didn't like it or I wasn't a big fan of it. So we're gonna try these out and see what the hype is about. Maybe I like boba, we'll see. It smells like caramel. Has balls of boba. Do you like boba? No, I don't like boba. Have you had it? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's it? okay. Get a boba ball. Did you get a boba? So it tastes like vanilla and it has like caramel that's like inside of it, you know? Mm. So. Blue, what are you looking at me like that, Blue? I mean, the taste of them is pretty good. I mean, the taste is pretty good. I don't think I'm a fan of boba, though. It's too, like, I'm, I'm, I'm very weird about textures, guys. Like, I'm so weird about textures. And the, the bobas are, like, chewy, like, soggy. They're not horrible. And if you like boba, I think you'd really like these. I feel like my mom would like these. I'm going to give them to her. And here they are. They look delicious. Little monster. What do you and want? they do look pretty crispy, so let's see. Wanna go first? <sighs> Try to do a cheese pull. No? No cheese pull? Is it cold? Is it cold on the inside or is it warm? It's just cheese? Yeah. I don't know. You don't want it? It's good, but I don't like it when it's just cheese. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Really? I just thought that it had sausage. If it would have had sausage, it would have taste better. I know you'll like it. I don't know about that ketchup though. Whoa, a lot of sugar. Pretty good. Next time I leave them in there longer to get crispier. Cause there's no cheese pull, but the taste is good. And we are at tar Target. We're about to return all this merchandise. And take our stroller, guys. This is the first time using our stroller in public, right? Yeah. Yay. Little baby Pikachu in the back, being cool out here in the streets. Guys, we got her a nice, she's getting a nicer swing, the one that I originally wanted. So let's return that one. And then now she's officially sleeping in her crib because she hated, she absolutely hated that bassinet. Okay, that's piercing. It feels good. I'm so random, huh? I'll be asking random ass questions. You Look, do. You lose focus too quick. Oh, but bro, it looks like I got beat up, bro. Like my nose it looks. How does my nose look? It's all, it's all blue stuff, huh? Bro, Starbucks. I don't anything, bro. I ain't trying to get this shit. Hell no. Boys going back to school. Feel me? I'm carrying the little diaper bag. We just came to the steak restaurant. We wanted, we originally we wanted to go eat at Texas Roadhouse, but bro, it was super freaking damn lit. I'm sure it would have been like a good 30 to 45 minute wait. We don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we got a little newborn. Like, and then she, like I'm scared like she might be start crying in any time in time right now, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't like causing big scenes and everyone just starts looking at you like Who cares? I don't She's give a, a fuck. So dinner is served guys. Let's go. This is breastfeeding Sophia right now. Sophia just got done eating so I'm gonna burp her. And then we're gonna And eat. surprisingly she doesn't have a dirty diaper. And then I'm gonna eat. Yeah, surprisingly. Guys, we need to stop coming in here like crusty. Going out of the all crusty. Bro, like a lot of times, like for me personally, like if it ain't somewhere special, and if I'm just going like a conventional store or somewhere like a like, gas station or to the gym, like I don't really care how, how, how I'm dressing. Especially in Arizona, it's hot, bro. Like 
I'm going to, I, I, I always wear like basketball shorts. Like I like to wear a lot of basketball shorts. Unless it's winter time, then that's when I wear sweats. But other than that, I don't really like wearing pants and stuff like that because it's too hot for that. Unless I'm going to like a party or like someone's party or if now I'm going to like a fancy restaurant with some friends or, or, or with Liz. Or on a day with this, you know, that's why I look good. You look good though, but I'm wearing freaking Grinch sweats. <laughs> but you guys, it's good. Now I haven't been dressing up anymore because I never look so crusty all the time. This place was crusty. Because. <laughs> I'm so coming. Coming. <laughs> no, we're not coming back. Um, because now I don't even dress up because I'm breastfeeding all the time. I'm literally always. Oh, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm literally always wearing a tank top because it's easy to just pull it down, you know, in my nursing bra. If I like wear a regular bra and then wear a regular shirt, I have to like take off my shirt. So we just got home, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is 9 o'clock. I put mommy in the restroom because I'm trying to train her that... Because she's a hoe, bro. I'm tired of her because like, she's always barking. She says she's a... <laughs> Guys, no, like, can I, I don't mistreat her or anything like that. Like I'm just trying to train her like not to bark when people... <laughs> When she hears like certain noises and or whenever people knock on the door, like it's so annoying, you know. Ben, you know? She knows we're talking about her. Yeah, that's, that's why she's, she's barking. Guys, you guys probably don't get our sense of humor, cause this is just the way we speak. But anyways, <laughs> we just like you said, we just got home, guys, and I'm super tired. She just ate again, so I'm burping her really quickly, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how we felt going out today. I was very like hesitant to take her out anywhere like this whole like since she's been born today's her one month I knew I didn't want to take her out until she was at least a month like last you guys so last time after her appointment we wanted to go to breakfast and we were literally about to get off like getting her car like her car seat off and stuff but I changed my mind because I got nervous and today was the first time we officially like took her out of the house other than like going to like her appointments and then coming straight home after you know um and and like i know i know that there's a pandemic and everything and it's a little crazy going out like it, it, it makes you nervous going out with a newborn but like realistically guys we have to get back to like normal life you know we're taking like as many precautions as we can obviously washing our hands and yeah our and, and, and honestly everything. baby sophie baby sophie has been she's been at home for like the whole past month like we didn't i don't think we took her out for this whole past month and this and this is the first time we have we have two minutes. And, it tells you up and, here how much and, to record. And also, our pediatrician said, like, it's fine, you know? Like, we have to get back to our regular, like, life. Like, my mom does not mind coming over and watching her. She's five minutes away. But also, guys, like, we cannot have my mom coming every single day to watch her. Like, she's our baby. We need to take care of her. And we need to, like, you know, just kind of adjust to life and just take as many precautions as we can. But that's kind of how it went today. It didn't go too bad, though. And, I and like, the only thing was when I had to breastfeed her and stuff, I just... And I had to pull my tit out. Like, I have to feed my kid. You know? Anyways, you guys, that is pretty much going to be it for today's vlog. Yeah, hopefully you guys like I enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys enjoy these vlogs so we can continue continue these vlogs. And uh, subscribe to our channel if you guys are new. Give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys we in the next. We love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. We're out.